the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Sacramento District. We work directly with state and local agencies managing complex systems of reservoirs, dams, and levees in eight western states. The Sacramento District owns and operates 17 dams in California. Of those 17, five are dam safety action class one and two, meaning they are at higher risk of failure. In this video, we will take a closer look at Success Dam, a DSAC-2 dam, by talking with local authorities and the Sacramento District's Chief of Engineering. We're uh, considered to be the largest irrigated agricultural area in the world. Our valley is, is the greatest farming area in the world because we have the right kind of heat in the summer, but we have to have water, otherwise it would be a desert. There are slightly over nine million acres of irrigated agriculture in California. But the Tulare Lake Basin has five million acres of irrigated agriculture. If local farmers don't have access to the full amount of water that's stored in Success Dam, for instance, um, they're gonna have to pay for water from other sources, pumping or, or from other reservoirs. And that's gonna increase the costs of, uh, of the produce and the, the rest of the nation is going to see that increased cost. Success Dam does not meet current safety standards. And there's two main areas. One is um, from a seismic standpoint and one is seepage. The seismic problem results from uh, the original dam was constructed on a soft foundation. If we get an earthquake around the Richter scale around 8 or 9 or 10 within 10 miles, they figured it would shake and the dam would collapse a little bit and if it was holding water maybe up to 70,000 acre feet, it would overflow. So all of the uh, space available to store their water has been cut in 50 percent. The storage this year was 40,000. That means that anything above 40,000 we had to release. We have to flood release water to maintain the restricted storage elevation. We have to release it at a time when we can't use it for our crops. We need to store that water until the trees and, and alfalfa and grain crops need the water. We need to store it behind the dam so if we have sufficient storage we can hold the water longer. Well we would like to see the core develop a program that will best serve the local interest with a moderate restriction in the storage. In other words, let's develop a program for about 60 days during the May, June, July period when we increase that increment of storage, take a little more risk so it will not impact the water rights holders to store the water to later deliver it for irrigation demands. Each year we're looking, for instance, we did a test fill somewhat of a test fill. We increased the pool last summer um, by about 10 feet to see how the dam performed from a seepage standpoint and, and it did fairly well. And we're going to increase it a little bit more this year and, and then we'll draw conclusions from that. So we are working to, to help with the, with the water supply while, while the dam is kind of waiting to be repaired. <laughs>